Hey guys, we're back with the Maker Bueno, a look at the Maker Bueno. Now, I think this micro, uh, this SD card with the micro SD card inside is preloaded with stuff. So we're just gonna slot this in and then we're gonna switch it on. And here we go. If we press this button here, we should be able to uh, get it back to the home page. Let's see what happens. Flashing loader. Now, there we go, we've got sound up. Might need to turn it down a little bit. And we can see what games we've got on here. These are super clicky, much like the pocket chips. Uh, a little more clickier than the pocket chips. Uh, they are just standard clicky buttons. This is a Nokia 5110 screen, and uh, as you can see, it does have dimmable sound, uh, dimmable sound, changeable sound, and dimmable brightness right here as well. We can turn that brightness all the way down, and we can turn it all the way up. There we go. So let's see what games we've got on here. We've got uh, Hindel's 3D, 101 Starship, Astro Blocks, Big Black Box, B Rally, Bomber, Black. Black dude, block dude, my bad. Uh, block, blocks bueno. Uh, we've got bricks. I apologise for that. I always thought that's what it, what it said. So sorry uh, if I offended anyone. Bob, Conway's game. Crabator, Crabator, Crabator. Okay, Jewel 2P, which I guess is two player. We've got Digger, we've got Descent into Hell, we've got Crazy Car. Uh, you can see that there are literally tons of games, even like Space Invaders and Maruino. We've got to try that, right? We're going to try Maruino. And uh, then we can go down. We've actually got settings here. Should we check what's in the settings? Okay, so we can change name. We can adjust screen. Oh, wait. We can delete save. Change name, adjust screen, contrast, backlight, etc. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening right now. I just pressed play game. It's loading something. I gather that this little white perspex is going to collect some dust too. So that could be a bit of a problem for those who don't like it. But uh, I think it still looks great. Okay. Uh, so we have to actually load into the settings. Now we've got check it wizard, change settings, see all the settings, default settings. Uh, let's have a look. See all the settings. Player, John Smith. Not true. I'm not John Smith. Change settings. Display. Contrast. You can change quite a bit, actually. There's quite a bit that's customizable here. Player name. Let's change it, shall we? Uh, obviously, it's... Uh, Dan is the player name. Okay, I'm hoping we can just press OK. Uh, a, B, and C is save. What's C? Is there not an enter enter button here? See, there are actually no instructions with this. Uh, I guess they're all online. So uh, C is save. Ah, so that is the C button up here. Okay, that's cool. Right. So we'll change the player name, I believe. Yep. Okay. Uh, we sound. Default volume. Right, so we can change the default volume. Um, we can put it to max, change the max volume. Interface. Yeah, so there's a few little things we can customize here, which is pretty sweet. And if we connect it to a PC, we should be able to add more games to it. Obviously, to go to the SD card, it says the C button, which is here, and it will go back to a flashing loader again. Uh, 
I think this thing's pretty damn sweet. So for 35 bucks, you get yourself a little console that does some sweet retro gaming. I think it's a freaking awesome idea. Uh, one that's fully hackable, of course, and one that can be upgraded over time. Potentially, if you have the knowledge, uh, you could probably upgrade it to something pretty cool. Uh, but even as a startup, it's it's pretty awesome. So let's try out that. Let's try out that. And let's try Maruino. Let's hope the volume doesn't. Uh... Let's hope the sound effects aren't similar to the original, because otherwise, the YouTube gremlins will get me. It does take a little time to load the game. I will say that. But other than that, uh, pretty impressive. Okay. Okay, it looks like there isn't actually sound uh, sound music with this one. Oh no! Wait, I'm bigger. Hey, that's a good thing, right? Yes. Very basic sound effects with this game, but it's still pretty cool. And I know the clicky is probably going to get on someone's nerves, um, but that's just the way they are. Uh, could you play this on a tr on a train or a plane? Yes, you could. It is quite loud though, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> right, let's go back. So to go back to the SD card, I think we have to press this. We have to press the C button every time. So we have to load the flash every time. But it's just a minor inconvenience. I mean, look at the damn thing. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I mean, look how small it is. And look at how cool it is with that little backlit screen and the whole, you know, the whole battery thing in there. And the little, you know, it's just cool. It's just cool. I love this thing. Let's try this. I've not tried... Let's, let's, yeah, let's try, th hey, hey, go back, where are we, look how many games we've got, we've even got like, music and stuff on here, be interesting to play music, Flaffy Verdo, 2048, Invaders, Micro Hexagon, and the good thing is there's always more games to add, and I can't imagine that even with just a small one gigabyte, um, SD card that you'd you'd fill it up very quickly. Let's play this. It's a 3D game. Let's see what this thing can do. Graphics wise. I wonder if it can play Doom. Everything can play Doom. This thing is surely gonna be able to play Doom. Maybe this is like Doom. Okay, so let's go in. Oh man, this is cool. Is it like a maze game? I mean, the way the screen moves is really cool. If you like the retro style stuff, which I do, it's really freaking sweet. The hell is that? I'm guessing I don't want to hit into those. I mean, yeah. It's basic, guys. It's not going to be like next-gen 2050 graphics. But come on. Who doesn't like this sort of thing? It's so freaking sweet and adorable. And that's coming from a guy who's straight, you know, this thing is adorable. You can do so many cool things with just a few technical components and you've got yourself a winner. And the price, you know, the price is reasonable. I like these guys, the fact that these guys aren't trying to rip you off, charging you £150 for this hardware, you know. The guy is really damn honest and uh, if you watch his Kickstarter video, which is absolutely incredible and explains why he's even gone on this venture, just shows, you know, the whole family that, uh, his family in particular, that are in the video, you know, they're working towards making, making this more accessible for people, which I think is, is definitely a good thing. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing here, guys, so let's go check out another game, shall we? Oh my god, we're gonna be, we're gonna be like a ten minute video here. There are also lots of connections on here, which... Which I'm going to need to figure out what they do. We've got some on the right hand side here which stick out a little bit. I'm not too happy about the fact that they stick out. Uh, it's a bit of a shame they couldn't put them in a bit more. But obviously with this controller here. Uh, the charging controller. They wouldn't have been able to pin them in a little bit more. It would have been nice to have everything snug in the case. Like the rest of the stuff is. Uh, just because these could be bent if you place in a pocket potentially. Or snapped off. Because they are. Uh, they do move a little bit. 
Okay.